There was a man born a long time ago somewhere in the United States brought up in a simple middle class family His father was a loving family man and used to work in his farm When he was 5 years old one summer afternoon his father came home with a fever He saw his father in pain but did not understand what was going on That day doctor was called twice He could see from far his mother crying He got scared That was the first time he saw his mother cry Later that day his father died He was too young to realize what has happened but will always remember that summer afternoon all his life After his father's death his mother started stitching clothes of other people and also got a job in a factory At 7 he learned how to cook to feed his younger siblings as his mom was away working One day he baked his first bread he wanted to show this to his mother but she was working in a factory 3 miles away He grabbed the bread and took his 5 year old brother and sister along with him three of them walked 3 miles across the field so he could show his mother his first loaf of bread when they reached factory he started searching for his mother his mother saw him from far carrying a loaf of bread in his hand and having a huge smile on his face she came held the bread in her hand and gave him a big hug at age 10 he began work as a helper in the farmland and then took up job painting horse carriages he left school after 6th grade so he could work full time life moved on job after job he sometimes worked as conductor then joined united states army for a while then cleaned trains and even worked as a helper in railway construction maybe he was never satisfied maybe he was still searching he was 18 when he met a beautiful girl they both fell in love soon got married and had three beautiful children but one day he got fired from his job once he reached home his wife was gone there was a note from his wife's brother saying she had no business marrying a no good fellow like you he then convinced her to come back later studied and practiced law for some time and after that even became an insurance salesman all the while moving from one career to another at age of 30 he established a ferry boat company the ferry was an instant success he sold the shares of the company and started a new one wanting to do something bigger He established a company manufacturing oil lamps. Hired sales people across the country. The business initially started well with some new orders coming in every day. He felt, "Yes, finally I have made it." But destiny had some other plans. A company named Delco introduced electric lamps and the venture failed then he started working as a salesman in michelin tires but there too he lost his job when the manufacturing plant was shut down 
he again started looking for some work and traveled to different cities to find it while coming back with no money in his pocket he was looking for a lift to get back home a man stopped and picked him up in his big car he shared with the stranger his story how he was looking for some work that stranger turned out to be the state manager of standard oil the manager asked him would you like to run a service station he had no experience of what it takes to run a service station but he said yes for 6 years he managed the place successfully he sold more fuel than anywhere in the state but then the great depression came his station closed down like many other businesses at that time as luck would have it at that time shell company offered him to run a service station rent free at the age of 40 he opened a new service station and also started serving food people loved his recipes he didn't have any seating in the service station so people would eat in his adjacent living quarters the business grew big he later bought a motel nearby and converted it into a 140 seat restaurant time went on he was finally successful but when he was 63 his booming restaurant took a massive hit a new interstate highway was built which took traffic off the route where his restaurant was situated his business collapsed his restaurant was auctioned in front of him he could not do anything to save it he was almost bankrupt it was his life's biggest failure but he still wanted to try all these failures have taught him one thing not to give up he decided to sell his recipe to various restaurants at a small cost he borrowed 87 dollars went door to door to try and sell his recipe people told him he is getting old he should retire what will he achieve in trying to sell a good for nothing recipe at such a old age but he did what he always did in his life he moved forward he lived in his car for 2 years but everywhere he went there were rejections one after another he was rejected 1009 times finally at the age of 65 he met a restaurant owner he cooked his recipe and made him eat it the owner liked it he said yes now decades after that one restaurant the number has grown to 20000 restaurants across the world with annual sales reaching over 23 billion dollars all 20000 of them serving the same recipe which a 65 year old man was trying to sell and was rejected over 1000 times he is colonel sanders founder of kentucky fried chicken if he would have retired or accepted failure there would not have been any kfc hundreds and thousands of jobs that were created because of him would never have been created we don't even try to achieve our dreams because we fear failure or remember the failures of the past when we tried and failed we don't realize failure is inevitable 
Throughout history, there has never been a single human being who has never faced failure. So why should we fear what is and what always will be there? If your heart is pumping, if your mind is ready to accept challenges, it's never too late to try to achieve your dream. It's never too late to learn something new. It's never too late to experience something beautiful. It's never too late to keep on trying no matter how many times you fail. It's never too late.